Well, we're hunting an old 1910-ish house today, and uh, Shaquille might have scored the first silver, maybe. I don't know. Haven't really wiped it off yet. So. I can read dime on it. it says one dime. Is that a barber? Sure, that's a seated, seated liberty. liberty. Gun. That's a good 1877, line. clear as a bell. All right, good job. Beautiful. That's nice. We have been here five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nice. Cool. We'll get some more. I would mind have another corn here. Man, it's noisy by this road. Oh, it's just a, huh? just a Lincoln, I think. It looked greener than it did when I got it out, but your tongue's all blue. Huh? Your tongue's all blue. Oh. <laughs> well, I think I might have a valve stem cover to something. It's not. That's what I'm thinking it is. Don't know what automobile it may be from. Loud out here by this road. But, uh, pretty cool. Maybe we can get something off of it when we get home. But, uh, well, we're still here at the old farmhouse, but, uh, it has been slow with tons of canned slaw. Really, really trashy, but, uh, Oh, finally scored a little something kind of cool. It's a little lock. It's like an old brass lock or something. Uh, looks like a Yale. Pretty cool. So, all right, I'll keep looking. Oh, I didn't go. Oh, my other hole was right here, <laughs> right here between my legs, and I got a alarm clock frame vintage. So, uh, things are looking up. This soil here is, has not been disturbed. Most of this around here has been, I don't know, it's been moved around. The house is over 100 years old, but uh, this is the best dark, good soil I've found. But uh, that's a good find there. I want to pick around here, right around this tree. So, see what I can get. Cool. Well, it's been a pretty good drought. But I might have a largey down here in the hole. I'm not sure. Boy, a lot of can slaw. My goodness. But, uh, got a little something down here. Uh, looking pretty good. Kind of in a weird place, too. You just never know. But anyway, that in there. Looks like pull around together here. That is, yeah. yeah. Definitely a coin, but I don't know what it is. Now all the coin guys are going, oh, don't rub it, but you know what? My coin. I'm about to get that cleaned up a little bit and uh, see what it is, because I can't tell right now. I don't know. Yep. Well, anyway, here's a wrap up for today's finds. We hunted a house that was actually built in the night, around 1910-ish. But I uh, got a couple surprises, but anyway, I got a nice... Uh, got the valve stem cover off a... Uh, I'm not sure what automobile. I don't think it's a Model T clock frame. I got a Yale lock. Uh, a couple pieces of brass. Uh, stinking Lincoln penny. Some razor blades. But a really nice surprise, and I don't get a quite ID on it. Is a, I believe it's a post-colonial copper. Um, you know, probably from the 1780s, the best I can tell. I can find the Lady Liberty that matches this but in the book um, his head on this one his head is turning to the right 
and I can't find the matchup between that head, the way it's facing, and Lady Liberty. Um, they're similar ones, but they're not exact, so maybe, maybe some of you colonial guys can uh, get a little heads up on that. You've probably seen them before. But anyway, uh, pretty cool. That's my first coin from the 1700s. At least I think it is. But then my wife today, Jaquela, she got a nice surprise too at the same place. Tell them what I got here. Well, started out, my very first hole I dug was the 1877 Seated Liberty. It's actually, mm. the date on it's very, very clear, and that was exciting about that. And this one was something I wasn't sure of what it was. I uh, came home and researched it. It is a Chinese coin. And it has to be between 1736 and 1795. Uh, and it was where a certain emperor was in. And it, so it has to be from the dates between then when he was in reign. Wow. So I was excited. 1700 yeah. and an 1800 coins today. Mm, that's a good day. Excellent day. How much can slow did we dig? We took a lot of cans. <laughs> it was everywhere. A lot of aluminum out it there today. Was everywhere. But yeah, we both we both cracked the oldest coin date for both of us and uh, actually got into the seventeen hundred, which is uh, rare for here in Ohio, so all right.